Thanks for being here. I'm gonna kick off with a quote uh, where you once said, why do AI safety work? Because I don't want to die. I don't want my kids to die. I don't want my family, friends, my planet, my universe, my multiverse to disappear, unquote. Can you explain that sentiment to someone that's watching or listening to us? We are creating the most powerful technology ever. We are creating something smarter than us. And we may be very close to creating super intelligence. Some people say maybe just years away. Capabilities this technology will allow cannot be envisioned. We are talking about unknown unknowns. And so the impact will be far beyond your personal financial concerns, your employment. It will impact everyone and perhaps go beyond what humanity can control. Now, you probably heard the classic argument coming back to you saying, we've always feared technology. We've always, you know, created all these incredible science fiction movies about technology killing us all and ruining the planet. And so some people would, would go on to say, this is no different. What, what would you say to people that, that kind of proffer that as a, as a rebuttal? So we never previously created agents. We always created tools, which required some sort of malevolent humans to utilize them in nefarious ways to cause damage. And at the end, as long as you control humans, as long as you can deal with the bad guys, it wasn't so bad. We, we came pretty close with nuclear weapons. We got lucky a few times, but it was never the case that technology itself without human intervention was potentially very dangerous. It's a complete paradigm shift. Yeah, that is very different with the agent possibility. Um, another quote that you once said, you said, quote, if we create general super intelligence, I don't see a good outcome long-term for humanity. The only way to win this game is not to play it. Now, is that a line from the movie War Games? Because I watched that kid, that movie when I was a kid, and for people that haven't seen it, it's with a very young Matthew Broderick, and it's about, I think, I guess a computer simulation gone kind of wrong when there's nuclear capabilities. Uh, is that where you got the line, or was that your original? I saw the movie, of course. Uh, I liked it, and uh, it makes sense. If we cannot control it, if we cannot explain it, if we cannot predict it, then long term, we don't know what it's going to do for us or to us. When you look back at that movie now, I mean, that was a bit of an agent, right? That was a bit of an AI or a program. This is in the 80s, so this is 40 years ago when it kind of showed that example. Obviously, a really well-made well movie that makes you really consider what could be on the line. Um, when you think about that movie now or look back on it or if people rewatch it, what are things that they can see in that movie that could be a vision of our future? So movies are not a perfect example. People often refer to Terminator scenarios. Uh, they're always optimized for visual effects. You want to see something physical, something bloody. The concerns we have are very abstract. We're talking about advanced intelligence. It's not easy to visualize how it can cause damage. Think about nanobots, synthetic biology, a deadly virus. Anything like that does not make for a great movie visually. As a concept, it surely presents a lot of concerns. So I think while movies give us a general direction to worry about in terms of technology we don't understand, independent agents. Uh, the actual concerns are very different from what we see in movies. It's not just military applications of this technology. It's simply being outcompeted, outperformed in every conceivable domain, including social engineering, including uh, persuasion, financial, economic, adversarial uh, competitions. Uh, doesn't make for a great movie, but could become reality. I think I've heard you talk about how we can't even conceive of a way that it might have an attack vector towards us because it's so much more intelligent. It would be like a lower life form. I think you might've used like a squirrel reference or even a cow. Does a cow really know why it's about to get killed? Does it have any concept of, you know, what, what the goal is, what the aims are? Uh, or does it just take that thing in the head and, and it never has any idea why or when or how? Is, is that 
Should we think about it more that way? That's exactly right. I get asked all the time, well, how would AI cause any damage? It's just a piece of software. It has no hands, no manipulators. How can it impact the real world? And it's important to understand you're not asking what superintelligence would do. You're asking what I would do as a human. And it's a very different answer. We can talk about, you know, hiring people on the internet to do your bidding using cryptocurrencies. We can talk about utilizing existing weapons, nuclear weapons, but none of it is what a much smarter system could come up with. Right. A much smarter system would look at that and probably laugh, right? And say, why waste all your time when I can just do this tiny little thing? <laughs> we cannot predict. Maybe nuclear weapons is a great answer. We just don't know. That's the whole problem with this. We are not good at predicting something so much more capable. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you wanna profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it, listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto. Learning DeFi, gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. You took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you got to pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not going to regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.